Good morning. Good morning. How is How's everybody doing? I just came back from a let's see, um, no, it's uh three miles I think today. This is my angel. Oh, come on now. This is my uh pedometer. And I don't know if you can see, but I am I don't know why I do that. Mm -hmm. I'm dripping sweat though, okay? I'm dripping. I went for two miles with Angel and then I brought her back and I powered power walked um <laughs> I power walked the last mile up and down the hill. So I feel good. I feel good. I'm better from yesterday. I'm better to take your little I'm sorry. I'm better from yesterday. I actually felt better towards the end of the day. Um, I felt better towards the end of yesterday. And I ate well. I did. I didn't eat crap all up. I, um, I had um, my shake in the morning and then... <clears throat> In the uh, for dinner, I didn't eat. I didn't actually get eat anything else until I don't remember. I don't think so. No. Um, I had spaghetti, but my mother made whole wheat. I got everybody so they whole wheat pasta and spaghetti sauce and sausage, but I just did salt and like a little tiny piece of sausage. Um, and then, of course, you know, the food monster hits me around about 10, 11, so I had cheese and crackers. I don't care, damn it, I had cheese and crackers. And, okay. So, and I drank probably 160, 162 gallons, 162 ounces of water yesterday. So, I did good. Flesh all like crap out of my body. Literally and figuratively. And then I have my green smoothie. Oh, I know what I did, too. I made, I was, I've been experimenting with these, um, Roasted chickpeas, and so I made a roasted, um, a sweet version. Last time I made a garlicky version, this time I made a sweet version. So I took agave, <clears throat> agave nectar, cinnamon, this butter, Land O'Lakes. I thought it was organic, but it's not. I must have used up all the other stuff. But this is Land O'Lakes butter, all natural butter flavoring to put on popcorn, and um, it smells like five. So five calories. I don't know, you know. So I put that on there, and I sprayed the pan. It actually comes out better to me when I made the savory ones, and I used oil. So I think I'm going to use coconut oil the next time I do it, and see if that because they weren't crispy. Um, and I'm like, yeah, they were good, but you know, they they satisfied. I had a little sweet tooth last night, and they satisfied that. So that was good. That was the point. So I had that. So I had a can, almost a can of those. That's a lot. Um, and today I'm actually, I love chickpeas. Today I'm making um, Rocky's chickpea salad with the avocado, red onion, olives, feta cheese, uh, lemon, um, cucumber, tomatoes. I'm not going to put tomatoes in mine. I'm just going to put cucumber. Um, and I'm going to have that. And I'm going to munch on that probably for lunch. And then make it, make some chicken breast and mix it with it and have it for dinner. Because I can eat chickpeas all day. So that's my day, and what else should I do? Well, I did get Angel, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're going yet again. Not this, this weekend we have a party to go to, and then next, the following weekend, we have a barbecue to go to down in uh, Staten Island, which for some reason doesn't make me as nervous as going to, like I don't consider that the city, because it's not, even though it is part of the city, it's one of the five boroughs, I just don't, you know, I'm more worried about clan activity than I am. <laughs> than I am bomb activity. So I'm not really, I just can't stand the people that we're going to see. And I know, you know, those of you that are married in relationships and so forth. And I'm a loner. And um, I keep saying I'm going to do this, but I have um, this single uh vlog I want to do about being single for a long time and, and you know I know most of you out there are married so I don't know if you're going to be late but whatever I'm going to do it I promise I'm going to do it maybe I'll do it later on today 
But anyway, yeah, I've been with Fred for three years or so now. It seems like thirty, but three. And um not in a bad way, just because we just we're just so comfortable with each other. He has this friend that lives in Staten Island and she and he met in kindergarten. So they've known each other for about mm, six hundred and five years, yes. So and she's very bossy and controlling. She's married, but when Fred, she's always, um, Fred's ex-wife never liked her, and she always, well, Fred's ex-wife is a little psychotic, so nobody really likes her, but she, they would socialize together, and, um, why am I trying to call it? So anyway, they would socialize together, and inevitably Fred and his ex-wife would get into an argument, and they would have to leave in the middle of the party, there was always some nonsense going on with her, this woman. So when they separated and things started going bad, this woman kind of became Fred's confidant. He would tell her what was going on. And because she's a very controlling, motherly, she does it, she, it's under the guise of mothering, but it's smothering, you know, it's not mothering, it's smothering. So she kind of would tell him what to do, and Fred was very vulnerable at this point. This is before I met him. And so she, he would kind of listen, kind of, kind of blind sheep, because remember, he's been married 37 years to this woman, things, you know, 37 years now, he was 17 when they got married, you know. Now that can't be right. He's 50 something. Well, maybe he was 20. 37, 20. Yeah. 19, 20. 17 when they met. So, um, so he just didn't, you know, he, like he didn't know. And then for a long time, there was a Jehovah's Witness. His family job was witness, so they kind of insulated themselves from the outside world. So there were just a lot of things. There are still a lot of things because he's no longer um, a Jehovah's Witness. Not my doing, and they're going to do with me. But um, so he was encapsulated in this kind of bubble, and he didn't really know a lot. And she took advantage of the fact that he didn't know a lot, and plus the fact that she really wanted, you know, she's always down and attractive and. I sensed that immediately as soon as I met her, you know, that there was something there. So, of course, here I come, and I'm, you know, I mean, you guys see me looking like this, but when I go out, as Tina would say, everything is on deck. It's, I'm suited and booted when I go out, seriously. And so, um, when she first met me, and I walked in, and then I'm all like this, and I'm very, you know, and she's like, what the, you know, so she just doesn't take care of me. And then she tries tried because I nipped that in the bud about a year and a half ago or more. Yeah, you know, she tries to tell him what to do and you know, tries to run what we're doing. No, you don't run what we're doing. I run this 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 is my program. This is my camp. You run your camp, I run my camp. You got a camp. That dude right there, that's your camper. That's your camper. This dude right here, that's my camper. Stay in your lane. Oh, I could tell you so much. They came up here to go apple picking, and it was just a disaster. Anyway, so she's having a barbecue, and for the last two times that she has barbecue, I haven't went, or barbecue or any function, I have not gone. I, he, he's gone. And she's just, that just grinds her gears because she wants to know why I don't like her. And it's just that she's, it's inconvenient for me. And I'm not going to go out of my way. I don't know, I didn't go to school with you, he did. And he can go by himself. He's a big boy. He's got a driver's license. So, anyway, she's having this barbecue on the 27th, and he's like, I said, listen, this is going to cost you, he don't even know, I don't know, already bought a whole bunch of stuff off Amazon, not a lot of big stuff, just a little stuff, I bought a case for my iPad, I bought some vitamins, I bought, <laughs> I bought a new nose ring, I bought um, some nail polish, I bought, I spent probably, I don't know, 40 bucks. But he don't know it yet. But uh, yeah, that's his penance for me having to go sit with this this chick. But um, I know those of you that are in relationships, you know, sometimes you have to deal with people that you just, you know, that in your mate's life that you just, I just can't stand this woman. Um, and it's not. All right, I want to have my smoothie and I want this to upload fast, so I'm gonna leave it under ten minutes and I'll be back. I don't want to say like Rosa, but I love when she's I'll be back. I love when she says that. But I'm gonna say. This is going to be my signature. <laughs> Bye. Be back.